So I'm going to be going over the startup procedure and referencing the machine and all the axes. So after you turn on the main breaker behind the machine, you'll get this screen. So you'll have to turn on the breaker, press the deuce on on button. It'll take a minute to load and it should look like this once it's all said and done. You'll have an emergency light blinking there. What you're going to do is you're going to release the e-stop by turning clockwise. Hit this machine ready switch. Once it stops blinking, you'll see that the air is now cleared. So now we're gonna go into referencing all the axes. So if we go down here, there's a reference button. As you can see here, we've got B, Y, X, and Z. That's the order that you're gonna have to reference these axes in. First, before you do that, take a look in the machine. Make sure nothing's gonna hit. Obviously, the axes and the turret are gonna move up to the home position, so make sure there's no tools or the sub spindle isn't in the way. Make sure everything is clear before you do this. So like I said, Make sure you're in a rapid override of either zero or 25. Zero is very slow. 25 is pretty easy to handle and you don't have to worry about it. You cannot home the machine at 100%. So first, we're gonna go with B. So the B axis, you're gonna have to push and hold until that light comes on there. All the other axes, you can just hit the button. So you're gonna hit Y plus, light turns on. You're gonna come over, you're gonna hit X plus, and then Z plus. And as you can see, all the lights turned on. The turret actually moved up into the corner there and uh, all these lights blinked. And now we are in the home position. Now you can start working on the machine and you can do manual tool changes in MDI. And if you're not in the home position and you're trying to tool change in MDI, you have to go back and references all the axes. It's a safety feature built into this machine. So make sure you do that when you do tool changes and that's how you start up the machine.